the imagination, the humor. People forget what a funny show Star Trek was. Just the big ideas and the big vision for humanity. My relationship first went from Star Trek to reading a lot of fantasy and science fiction. So I was a big uh, sci-fi nerd, fantasy nerd. I went to NorwestCon several times. I went to, I was like one of the original people going to fantasy and science fiction conventions before they were anything any whiff of coolness about it. I actually played in a Dungeons and Dragons tournament at NorwestCon in I think 1981, maybe? I think I was 15 years old and I played an assassin thief, <clears throat> half elf, and um, came in second place. Long weekends, we would start playing Friday night. We'd play all day Saturday, Sunday, half the day, because we'd have to come home and do homework Sunday evening, but just absolute marathon sessions, complete obsessions with my characters and their, their magic items. I would draw them. We would create dungeons. We didn't do any of the store-bought dungeons. We'd have to create our own kind of missions and, and universes. It was fantastic. I read a lot, so I, was, I, I wasn't reading. I wasn't getting the idea for stories from Dungeons & Dragons. I was getting the idea from stories from reading stories. But what I loved about D&D &D is there's just no limits to the imagination. Like you can, you're creating worlds where you can go anywhere, you can be anyone. And, uh, and I, I, I think that that really affected me in a positive way, that there's really no limits to the imagination.